Hi everyone, today we're going to have a look at these twin raster clap bracelets. These are uh, Mad Max style and these were inspired by one of my subscribers, Weary Morlock, who was kind enough to send me in some pictures of a whole bunch of these that he's been making. So I'm using 220 centimeters to make this one and you're also going to need just a scrap piece of paracord and it's easier if you have a paracord lacing needle but you can do it without this so we'll start off just by finding the center here which I've already done and then on this right hand strand I just want to form a bite down the bottom and another bite at the top And then I want to do the exact same over the other side. Just form a bite down the bottom and a bite up the top. So you should have three at the top and then two down the bottom here. Now these center four strands I just want to pinch together. One, two, three, four. And then this left strand I want to take over all of those four strands and I'm just going to tie a basic cobra knot. I'm going to take this right strand over that and then behind and up through this left loop here. Then I can just draw this together. And now the next thing we want to do is to adjust these loops down the bottom here. We want these to be just a little larger than the circumference of your wrist. So measure out what your wrist is and then just add a little bit to that. So the way we adjust these loops here is if I feed slack through this right strand it's going to be able to adjust this left loop so just bit by bit just feed a little bit of slack through pinch it off and then pull that slack through just keep doing that until you've adjusted this loop to the size you want and then repeat over the other side here so feed slack through this left side pinch it off and then pull that slack through to make your loop larger and then get these two loops here to the required size once you have these loops here to the size you like we just need to make sure that both loops are exactly the same size so you can see that these loops here are different sizes and the easiest way to adjust this is through this center loop here so just pull one side and then pull the slack out of the other side and adjust these two loops until they're the exact same size just play around with it until you get them equal so once you get these two loops exactly the same size just tighten up this top cobra knot all the way up and then just tie one more and we'll do that by taking that right side over all the core then the left strand over that and then behind and through that right loop so we tighten this all the way down now we can take our scrap piece of paracord and we just want to insert it into that loop and then tighten that loop all the way down just pull it firmly into place and then make sure that this cobra knot is nice and tight and now that we've done all the fiddly work we can get to the braiding so I'll start here on the right hand side and we're just going to do a normal three strand flat braid so to do that we will take 
the right strand over the center and then the left one over the center and we'll just pull this excess through the loop as we go along and we'll take that right over and then the left over that one then the right over and we'll just pull that excess through left over right over I'm doing this fairly loose uh, when you do it, do it a little bit tighter I'm just doing it loose to demonstrate I'm going to go back and redo this one so as you go along just keep pulling that end through the loop and braid all the way down until you get to the end and I'll show you how to finish this final section off down the bottom here so when you get down to the bottom here sometimes this final loop is very small uh, that's when you can use your lacing needle to pull the paracord through or you can use a pen or something similar and just open that loop up enough so you can tuck the final thread through as it happens this is a nice size just for me to push it through and finish off this braid here and then we just need to repeat this braid on the left side exact same process braid this strand through so once you've completed both of these braids right down to the end this is where your lacing needle will come in handy if you have one what we want to do is we just want to remove this scrap piece of paracord and then I'm going to take this lacing needle and I'm going to feed the end of this braid up through that top loop I'm going to take this needle off and then I can do the exact same for this other side so if you don't have a lacing needle uh, it's a little bit more fiddly but you can still get it done what we can do is we can just put the end right near that loop and then get something sharp like a skewer or a knitting needle just press it right at the end there and then try and push that through the loop and try not to jam yourself with a sharp object so I'll push that through and then you can just pull the rest of that through as well now all that is left is to tie off the end here so to finish this off you just need to join these two uh, free ends together and you can do that by just tying a simple overhand knot forming a loop and then tucking the ends through that loop and tying it off in that way I'm going to do a double Matthew Walker so to tie that we just want to take our left strand down and our right strand down so we look like that and then I just want to take my left strand over those two center ones my right strand over that and then behind and through the left loop just like we're forming a cobra knot then I want to take this right strand up through the left loop and the left strand down through that right loop and then I just want to continue the same way left down the right and then right strand up through that left loop now I can grab these two free ends and the two strands down the bottom and just draw this knot together 
and you should end up with your extended Matthew Walker. Now all you need to do is cut off these excess ends here and singe them off with a lighter and your bracelet should be finished. So I've gone ahead and just cut off the ends here on the stopper knot and you can tighten this bracelet up just by pulling on the end here. And that's the finished bracelet. Please share this video because that allows me to keep creating content for you guys. Thanks for watching.